You are now tuned in to Freeing the Minds TV, home to mindful living. Peace, love, and light. Peace and love, peace and love. Welcome back to www.freeingtheminds.com. We are back, live in effect, in full effect. And we're adding on a new addition to the channel. And this addition that we're adding on to the channel is called The Art of Peace. The Art of Peace. And The Art of Peace is ultimately going to be a stream that we're going to be adding on. And it deals with ultimately how art provides a peace of mind, man. And ultimately art is a piece of who we are. Art is, man, in everything in which we do. Art is everywhere. Everything. Everything is art. Art is everywhere. And we'll get into these things as we continue to move on forward with it. It's um, for the show and for the, for the channel and for the show. The objective here is ultimately to um, investigate art. Investigate what comes on through. Not necessarily coming in with a focus-driven piece or any objective of an idea on what I want to create or what we want to try to achieve in a piece, but just kind of ultimately just kind of just come in and free range it sometimes just to see what's there, maybe playing with symbols and signs and designs, sometimes might be trying to work on something, or sometimes just relieving oneself through art. But the objective is ultimately utilizing art as a peace of mind and trying to see how and explore how art is everywhere. For the most part, we'll be um, doing a lot of paintings, drawings, more so drawings, charcoal. For today, we're gonna to be working with the charcoal, as well as maybe possibly throwing in some pastel. Everything is ultimately open, free experimental range, and um, seeing where it goes. However, sometimes we might be stepping out into nature. Sometimes we might be just doing some nature walks and observations and stuff with the art of peace and pointing out how nature is a reflective of natural life. Natural life is a reflection of our art, whether it's abstract or surreal or realism or expressionism either way well, no matter what it is it's a reflection of the soul a reflection of the spirit and we just want to get deep into this man just get deep into this without further ado so um hope you enjoy and i hope you enjoy the journey in which we go on and engage over time as we continue moving forward so without further ado that's ultimately the gist of the show and um Let's go right on in. For today, I'm thinking ultimately, we're ultimately just going to be using our charcoal pieces, our just typical charcoal pieces, and we're going to be using some oil pastels. We're going to be using these pastels right here. We'll be taking a look at these expressionist pastels, these cray pies. And, um, but for the most part, we're going to be working with the charcoals. So let's just get right on to it. So I'm thinking ultimately on this one, let's just do something basic, something simple and something easy for today, like a face. Let's just do a face, you know. You never know what's going to happen. You never know what's going to happen. You might just go with a face. I didn't know if I wanted to go that big or not, but this face is going to be just something else. Let's just do something else right off top. I already can see that. I just don't want to automatically go into a face. And then a lot of times when you're drawing, you just kind of got to just go along with whatever's coming to you. Follow what your spirit leads you into. Soul guidance. A lot of times you'll see a lot of things that come through when we allow these drawings or illustrations or anything creative for that matter to come on through and ultimately show us what its creation is. And we kind of just allow ourselves to get out of ourselves way. We'll start to see that everything is always there. Uh huh. Everything is always there. There are no mistakes in this world. Just keep on moving forward. Whatever it is that you're doing, pick up where you left off or add on to it. But, you know, sometimes every once in a while you might chalk something up and scratch that idea, scratch that plan, move on to something new, you know. And that's the cycle of life, too. Never discount anything out of it any experience. Every experience is valid. There we go. You know, and this is just kind of like I don't know who this is. I 
don't try to focus on anything in particular per se. Just kind of let it flow. And when you're doing art, just a lot of times, just let everything kind of just flow. Don't worry about being too precise with anything. Anything. Just like your life, you know? When you're moving. You're going out, let's say you're going out and about into the world. And you're going out to a little function and trying to see what's going to happen. Go out there with no intentions. Might be your first time going out there. You might have been out there several times over. But go out there with nothing in mind, no intentions, no anticipate, nothing as far as what you expect out of the situation. You know? Approach situations with no expectations. Approach life this way. Approach your drawings this way. You approach art this way. Art is a reflection of life. If you come in with an expectation and then you start seeing like your hands are not moving in that direction or you made a mark in the wrong way and you're not seeing beyond that so-called error or that mark that you're not happy with, if you can't see beyond that, you won't see what's happening because a lot of times those marks that we're not happy with add to a bigger and beautiful, more vibrant picture, more valuable picture. A lot of masterpieces are created this way. This be why they're masterpieces because they can't be recreated because some of the so-called errors in there were intentionally unintentional or unintentionally intentional. They weren't necessarily made by the conscious mind, but the spirit put it up in there and made you work with it. So once the conscious mind saw it, it had to make an adjustment. It had to see what, what did it see that it was not seeing before. What is it seeing that it was not seeing before? Now myself, see with a lot of faces and a lot of people, a lot of beings in general, you know what I mean? A lot of wiggly lines in my drawings. When I'm doing faces, oh man, nothing is locked in, nothing really too defined, but then we have certain lines that come in. I do like lines that come in like that, right? Like when they do come in to define something, when they come in to define something, a lot of times, you know, you'll have these wiggly lines, right? Like nothing too seen because people have a tendency to be, you know, not necessarily so um, grounded in, so locked in. So, a lot of wiggly lines in people. Not sure where people land or where they really lie with issues and stuff like this. And already I say I don't like this illustration right here. But like I said, it's something that you're just coming in with, right? And though I might not like it, you still gotta work with it because that's part of this too. Part of this thing is, Working with what you get, but like it or not, we're gonna have to work with what we're creating. And the reason why we have to do that is because life gives us this sometimes. The objective of the art of peace is to ultimately relate art to life. So it's not necessarily even the piece itself, but through the pieces, through the conversation, through what the piece is telling you, why you're creating it. See, these are thoughts that just naturally come into the mind in the process of creating a piece. Now creating a piece sketch I like a lot of sketch art I'm a fan of sketch art and sketch art is ultimately just art that's just very sketchy kind of quick and then something's not so quick but just have that look of like just roughness I like that rough look now it's kind of gruffy Billy really goes gruffy and it kind of reminds me of somebody I seen downtown off the of State Street one time, actually. Now I think about it. Plays the drums. Jimbe drums down there. If anybody's familiar with State Street, they probably know exactly who I'm talking about, actually, when they see this. Mm hmm. And you work with what you got as things crumble. You know, it comes from pressure, putting, applying pressure. Obviously, with things, when you apply pressure, gotta be careful, because you might break things. I see it, so keep on coming down there. Is he happy? Yeah, it's one of those, kind of like a raggedy shirt on. And I have 
he continues to make his moves through life, you know what I mean? He's wearing his clothes that he has on. A little tattered up. You know, because life is that way sometimes. You never know the hand that you're going to get dealt when you're moving through life. You know what I'm saying? But he still has his conditioning, this man here, whoever this man is, has his conditioning still. down here so we can differentiate the clothes from the, from the body. Clothes from the body. Clothes from the body. Kind of just figure it out as you're moving through. Now, you got a little foundation there. That's a basic foundation where you're going with all this. Because he's not the cleanest man. Might have some. And now it's coming in like. It's a little heavy. been through it. It's been a heavy day for him. Now, I like coming down on top with stuff like this. Just to play around got life happening things are moving forward you just want to play around and see what you got Maybe once in a while see what you got it's like stars born see it's like what's happening here is things are happening by themselves it's like what's the point right I might be like what what's the point man what do you what's really happening here man it's because listen royal blue lips man royal words speaking wisdom the eyes that see, right? The eyes that see and the ears that hear. The ears that hear. The truth. Truth. Truth is light. Solid foundation, man. One radiates, one vibrates.
if that's he hulk. He who hears. He who hears. He who hears vibrate. He who hears must vibrate. White and silver light vibrate. Now it's like looking at it, right? I don't know. I don't know. You got people of all shades. You got people of all shades, man. People of all shades, man. Doesn't matter what color, what shade one is. That catches the light. As long as you catch it, gold. Pink and gold. Anchored in nature. Strongest pine, like all seasons, man. Vibrant all seasons, strong all seasons, green all seasons, man. It's like, you, you, it doesn't matter. Just shine. Be who you are. He who hears. He who has ears, let them hear. Those who have eyes, let them see. Hmm. Those that understand, let them speak. So now, Triangle, just a solid foundation. Circle, the square, and the triangle. Keys. Keys are everywhere and they're always within you, so you have to carry. Carry the keys with you everywhere. They're always with you everywhere. And vibrate. He who has ears, carry and vibrate at that maximum capacity. Maximum capacity. You know what I'm saying? And that's ultimately where we're going with this one today. You know, it's a love movement. And love has everything to do with life. So all you gotta do is just be. All you gotta do is be. Be. That's where we add on this one. That's where we add on this one. So it's um universalism, man, universality, man. No matter what the person is, never judge a book by its cover. Never look at somebody for who they appear to be. Because oftentimes what a person appears to be and even who they think they are, who they truly are is far greater than both of those. Who they think they are and who they appear to be. So never judge a book by its cover. Never judge an individual by based off of an appearance. Always look deeper and into the source, man, by engaging with the spirit, man. 
have a conversation or just simply observe and do the knowledge just look and listen observe and respect and understand what's coming happening respond wisefully wisefully we just created a new word <laughs> wisefully but yeah man untitled peace man but in fact you know what no he who has ears he who has he who hears there we go it said it it said it itself he who hears he who hears and that's he or she so we have to add that she in there right we got the purple and then we got to add the she in there s he or she who hears she and he who hears she who hears he who hears it's all one love Man, there we go. So, that's it for today on that one. For this piece. Let's sign this thing and wrap this one on up. Let's, we're going to put this one down into the purple. We're going to sign this with that purple down here in the corner. So, this is ultimately what we're looking at here now. So, this is the piece. As we say, he or she, she or he who hears, vibrate. Carry the vibration. Love life. Live the life you love and love the life you live. No matter the shade, no matter the so-called race, the human race. It's all gold with love anchored in nature, love unconditional, forever be strong through all seasons, like the pine tree, like the pine tree, evergreen, evergreen, never judge a man or a woman, never judge a book by their appearance, never judge an individual by how they look. They're often far greater than they appear to be and often far greater always far greater than they think they are. Mm. Even the most egocentric, they're far greater than they appear to be and far greater than they think they are. Even their ego hmm. has them locked in into a small personality that is far greater, mm. far smaller than what their greatness is. Let me be clear on that. The ego can lock a person into an identity that is far smaller than the greatness of their true reality. So, we listen to the spirit. We hear the calling of ourselves from within ourselves as well as from around ourselves through the individuals as well as the reflection within the self, as well as nature. And when we see the individual, they're very far more complex than what we appear, what they appear, and what they even think. The mind, the eyes, the mouth being blessed with wisdom, the ears being blessed to hear, the eyes being blessed to see, the mind being blessed to think, the lips being blessed to speak. the nose being blessed to even just exist as well as take in and relate to one's environment. It's like a ladder into the mind. Carry the vibration everywhere we go. We are the vibration. So all one needs to do is just truly be one's own self. Just truly be one's own self. And let it be at that. Exist in your fine truest form, the strongest fortified structure, that triangle, the knowledge, the wisdom, and the understanding, the love, the peace, the happiness, 
the love and the labor and the objective for which one labors for? All of this. Good things come in threes. Strong structures. Never judge one by one, they appear to be. You always look deeper and recognize what's happening in front of you. The people. People are beautiful. As ugly as they can be, as nasty as they can get. <clears throat> and humans are beautiful creation. So we have to be mindful of the things we create and be mindful and the moves we make, be mindful and the things in which we add on and how we radiate in this world. Get deep into it. Get deep into it. Deep into it. And express yourself. Experience yourself. Experiment with yourself. You see, this is just an experiment. You know what I mean? I felt like I messed up at points and stuff like that. And I had to just keep on going, moving forward with it like we do in life. You have to keep moving forward. Find ways to keep it going and feel good about it. Feel good about it find ways to keep it going and feel good about keeping it going and that's by adding your creativity to it investigate and get into your mind more in fact allow your mind to experience and express itself more or just be aware of what's happening but most deeply allow your heart and the emotions within yourself to express themselves filtered through the mind yes but the mind must be also filtered through the heart so harmonize the heart and the mind and whatever it is in which we do Harmonize the heart and the mind, whatever it which is in which we do. Heart, mind, into the reality. The trinity, once again, the heart, the mind, into the reality in which it is you want to engage, which it is you are already engaged. Anchor the heart and the mind. And let it radiate. Let it vibrate. Let it shine. Those who have ears will hear. Those who have eyes will see. Hmm. That being said, thank you again for tuning on into Freeing the Mind. This has been another episode of The Art of Peace. The first episode of The Art of Peace is Dry Rough Run. We're going to see how it goes and we continue to add on and build and stretch as we continue on forward. Have a couple more ideas in which we want to add on into and get on into and we'll get into those in time. But this is the first run. Hope you enjoyed this one right here. He or she who has ears. In fact, no. He or she who hears. I keep on messing it up. We just did it as a freestyle, you know. Like we're going to do on most of these pieces, freestyles. So, um, letting things come through and as they go, see what happens. That's ultimately the roughly gist of life. You know, you have an idea and you test out your hypothesis. <laughs> see what happens, man. But, um, it is what it is, man. Love and light to you all, man. Peace and blessings and bountiful love unconditionally. May your wishes and your dreams be prosperous. May you be blessed in all your adventures and your efforts that you engage into. May your works be righteous. Mm. And may your life be joyful. Thank you again for tuning in. Wish you nothing but love. Peace. Peace. Visit www.freeingtheminds.com for your unique, original Freeing the Minds merchandise and apparel.